On November 1st, 2017, my dad and I traveled to the country of Myanmar, also known as Burma, where we spent 10 days in the second largest city of Mandalay. Gold leaf appears everywhere in Mandalay. You see it gilding the exteriors of pagodas. You also find locals lined up to rub small squares of gold leaf on statues of the Buddha as offerings. You know you have gold on your hand, right? There are so many ancient places to visit in Mandalay, and the artistry you see everywhere is incredible. One of the most impressive places we visited was the ruins of a pagoda in Mingun. It was completely man-made with bricks in 1790 and ultimately unfinished and abandoned. And an earthquake in 1839 caused a huge crack to appear on its face. At the center of Mandalay is the Royal Palace. One of my favorite memories is going out for a morning jog around the outside of the walled fort where there is a moat. I was joined by many others, exercising in a variety of different ways. At the Kathada Pagoda, there are these striking white shrines. Each one contains a page from the world's largest book. There were so many kids and couples hanging out in between these shrines and the courtyards. And when we arrived, a young person welcomed us and wanted to paint my face. Um, I'm not sure what it was exactly, but I believe it's some sort of cultural thing and maybe a natural kind of sunscreen. The people in Mandalay were very warm, very kind to us as American tourists. When we visited Mandalay Hill, young Buddhist monks would approach us and talk to us so they could practice their English. It was remarkably easy to get around. Many people we encountered could speak enough English to be understood. What is this called? What is it called? The water snap. Water snap? Yeah, water snap. Okay. This is saying the water snap. Dad's eating a fried shrimp patty. We visited a Buddhist monastery in Amarapura. It's open to visitors, and you get a taste of what life is like as a monk. Each day before lunch, the monks perform an alms ceremony, and tourists put donations in their pots or bowls that they're holding. Silk weaving the traditional way was something we had a chance to see while we were in Amarapura. The craftsmanship is incredible and the patterns they weave by hand are incredibly intricate. On the left bank of the Irrawaddy River is Ava, an ancient city and formerly the capital of Myanmar. We traveled there by boat and once there our mode of transportation was horse-drawn carriages. We're in a horse-drawn carriage and there's a traffic jam. <laughs> no. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> this was the heart of government and royal power on five separate occasions from the 14th to the 19th centuries. This place was finally abandoned in 1839 after a series of devastating earthquakes. The food in Mandalay was amazing. Curry dishes, noodle dishes, the famous fermented tea leaf salad, uh, so many good things to eat. I was in heaven. What you got there, Dad? I don't know. But... I came 7,000 miles to get it. <laughs> if you hike to the famous waterfalls in Pien U Luin, don't do what I did. I wore flip-flops and it was quite steep. 
I had a couple moments where I thought I might die. No trip to Myanmar is complete without a long hike in the woods in flip-flops uh, out to see a awesome waterfall here in Pien Lu Luen. <laughs> God, say hello. Hello. Ping lava. Ping lava. <laughs> you know, a steep hike in the woods in Burma. <laughs> in these. Oh, my feet hurt, but it's so worth it. It's hard to see. There's a big waterfall over here. And, uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dad's taking a rest. Hiking up this steep incline. We're halfway there. A motorcycle on a motorcycle driving down the road. Impressive. I'll never forget when I ventured out on my own one day and visited a train station there in Mandalay. There I played uh, some video games with some Burmese kids and I have to say they totally schooled me. Myanmar is a very special place and I highly recommend visiting if you have the chance. It's pretty easy to get a 30 day tourist visa, and the hotels are cheap, and did I mention the food was amazing? This is an experience with my dad that I won't soon forget. Last day in Mandalay, it's been a good trip. Miri at home.